Good day everyone. On this video, I will show you how to connect a GPS watch to a MacBook notebook computer. And in the process of connecting, I will show you how to fix the common virtual comb problem encountered during the transfer of data from your GPS watch towards your MacBook notebook computer and here it is you could use any GPS watch that you have on my case I have here the crane GPS watch I already have a data on this watch because a while ago I did a jogging around the area and it has a, a data right now uh, in your case you also need to have a data so we could transfer that data to your macbook notebook computer and you will also need a usb cable uh, this is not an ordinary usb cable it is it has a clip on the tip uh, that clip will be uh, used to clip towards your gps watch and on the tip side is a USB cable and we will connect that USB cable to the MacBook computer so we'll be connect right now the USB cable and the other tip towards the GPS watch make sure that the teeth here in your clip uh, there are metals that are conductors that should touch the circle small circles here at the bottom of the GPS watch to have a good conduction so you have to clip this one when it is connected it will show a computer and a wire going to a watch icon that means it is connected and at the same time charging when the battery is full that icon would disappear and battery full would be displayed it means that it is connected through the usb of the macbook notebook computer but it is just full battery the next step is we are going to open the gps master So now the GPS master has been opened. So currently, I already have link the MacBook notebook computer to the GPS watch. And I'm going to sync the data. For now, it is already synced because I already installed the driver and after this, demonstration of its use case scenario I will guide you how to install that driver so that your MacBook computer would not have a virtual comb error because without that driver it will cause an error and it could not transfer your watch data so let's try now to transfer to show you this use case uh, scenario so from the gps master uh, which you have already which i have already installed by the way it's easy to install this gps master it's just a simple 
double click of the application and it's installed however without the driver underneath it this gps master when you try to get the data to the watch it will cause some virtual com error so i will show you how to fix that one for now i'll just show you the use case scenario so from the data transfer tab here data transfer tab click receive watch data so now it's currently receiving the data so when the transfer of data is complete there is a window that says data transfer is completed so just click the ok button so you could look here in the activity to see your data so right now i have here a 2019 and then october so october 5 today is october 5 i ran up today a while ago on october 5 uh, I did a jogging and record my GPS during that run and that is the data and it could show here uh, some information, some statistical graph. Here on MacBook, I could not make the map display. On this area here, there's supposed to be a map which is linked to Google Map. I already installed that one, but I guess the latest Google map is not compatible with this GPS master. This GPS master is quite old and there is no latest version from the website for Mac OS. The version available right now is 1.1. Point four, but on the window side I already have there a two point something version for Mac OS there is no version higher than this actually this is the only version available so that's why I could not let the map display they are incompatible but it doesn't matter because what we will be doing is that I will convert this data, this GPS data into a JPEX file and then upload it to Strava for a proper uh, analysis of the statistics and uh, display it online in the cloud. So to do that, you just highlight that one, your data. And then you click file and then export so this window would appear and then you just choose GPX here at files of type GPX this one the GPS exchange file GPX why do I choose GPX because Strava only accept this format it will not accept other format but for the more advanced GPS watch lately right now they have a tool that uh, upload directly to Strava and other sites uh, this tool that I'm doing I'm doing right now is only applicable for the older types of GPS watch in my case for gray crane GPS watch I have to do this conversion to JPEX file before I could upload it online so you just click save and it will already be saved so we will get that file and then proceed to 
Strava website and upload the file. So I will open Strava. Just use any browser. And then type strava.com. then you log in so in my case i use my email and login but if it is your first time you need to do the sign up or you could use it uh, sign up with facebook in my case i use my email in signing up and then i type my email here and the email field and my password after typing your email address and password you click login so this is now my strava and then to add that file we which we have just uploaded uh, uploaded from the watch going into the GPS master you just click the upload activity here And then this screen would appear and if you have this type of watches they could sync automatically for my case crane GPS watch is not here so what should I do is go here and upload manually so I go to file because I already convert it into a file and then click browse so in my case select the latest upload that I have from the list so this is uh, the one I uploaded lately now which is the October 5 after selecting that GPX data uh, the next step is to click the open button and it's already uploaded just very fast and you just fill in the information over there like activity type if it's run walking mountain bike or any activity it is also other things and then like that here ride run swim hike walk alpine ski etc my case is just run and you could type in a title there description and then what choose you're wearing and then it will display here the the map of the run i made and its details like the date october 5 2019 which is today and the distance which is five kilometers the time 40 40 minutes and then the elevation is 7 meters so next thing that I'm going to do is click save and view so if they're doing clicking save and view the summary would be displayed here 
you have your 5 km 40 minutes and your phase which is 8.04 minutes per km other data such as elevation calories burn and the most amazing part is it displays the map the one we discussed a while ago that could not be displayed in the gps master so in my case it's from here my home i ran towards this area came back and there and then you turn and go back to my home and it records here individually the by, by splits so my 5 km has been split into five that would be one split per km and it could display my pacing my gap and the of the run so basically uh, that's it for uploading now let's go to how did I fix the virtual com problem I just uh, downloaded this application this driver uh, this driver is called C-Labs USB driver disk.dmg to download this one just go to the C-Labs website and then download uh, this USB driver and then after you download it, just mount the DMG file and then install it to your MacBook. Once you have installed it, uh, don't forget to reboot your MacBook computer. And then when you run this GPS master and you connect your GPS watch, the virtual comp problem would disappear and you could download the data from your GPS watch to GPS master and then convert it into GPX file and you can upload it to Strava or any other sports website. That's all. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you very much